really what it all comes down to? Is this really me? Am I the one who's destined to lose everything but live on? So, the rumors are true. Seems you survived a field test. How'd it go? Survived, right? That's how I made you one of my students. Now it's time for your final test. In this file is information of Nicole Smith. She's a single woman who had supposedly had a run through with one of our agents. So, what, is this a cleanup job? No, this is more of an intel gathering assignment. I need you to find out what she knows about the agent or any connection to us. Find as much information from her as possible. How am I approaching this? Your cover will be an estate agent she has called in. All the information you need is in the file. Also, you are to report only to me. This is a secret assignment and your final test. You start tomorrow and it needs to be done as soon as possible. Understood, sir. Good. One more thing, Tony. Don't get too close. Remember, emotions are the way to failure. She's just a target. Nothing more. Keep that attitude and you'll make a fine agent. I knew this person was a target, but what made her so special? Why was this my final test? I felt something was out of place here, like there was something my mentor wasn't telling me. For the sake of passing this test, I pushed these suspicions to the back of my mind. I just wanted to make my mentor proud, no matter what. Just one more test, then I'll be recognized as an agent. Mr. Smith? Hello. I'm sorry about that. I was just fixing some things up in the other room. Please come up. So you must be the real estate agent. Jacob, was it? Yes, Jacob Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Smith. Please call me Nicole. Here, come take a seat in the living room. Thank you. So can I get you anything to drink, Jacob? Water or soda? No, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, shoot. I just remembered. I have to go check on something. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. So you're into flowers, Mr. Walters? What? Oh, no. My mom took up pottery as a hobby, and the design of this face caught my attention. I see. It's a shame. You know, flowers are very interesting. It just takes one seed to create such a beautiful thing. And flowers never leave you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Please take a seat, Jacob. So I'm sure you got my information about my house, and I was wondering, how soon can it be sold? I just need to get out of this place. Well, I really couldn't tell you in today's economy. The manager says it could be a good 10 to 20 months. Wow. Well, I can't wait that long. Is there any way it can go faster? Not really. Nowadays, not that many people are looking for new houses, so... You can't rush that. You really know how to sugarcoat it, huh? I'm sorry. Just telling the truth. I know. It's just, it's been a rough couple of weeks.
Do you need a moment? I can go back out to the car and come back in a few minutes if you want. No, it's okay. I know it's none of my business, but there's something you want to talk about? Well, it's just lately I've been upset. I'm trying to get over a breakup with my ex. What about this ex? Who was he? His name is Chris D'Amico. He's... He got pretty drunk one night and said he was part of some organization of the government. Anyway, he took me home and we had an interesting night. He even said he would take care of me. But the next day he texted me saying that he couldn't be with me. It's just hard, you know. I really loved him. And he seemed to be a great guy. I understand. But maybe if he didn't stay with you, then maybe he wasn't the right guy for you. Did he try contacting you back since? No, nope. not one word. Did he perhaps mention something else while you were with him? Not really. He just said he had some assignment coming up. I see. I'm sorry, Nicole. We have to wrap this up. It's getting late, and I have another client I have to meet with. No, I understand. Thank you, though, for the information about the house. It's not a problem. And I'll see what I can do to speed up the process. All right. And Jacob? Thank you for listening. It's no problem. It's been a while since I've had some compassion for another person. Cared enough to listen. It felt so good. But it also felt so wrong. Like I'm conflicted between the person that I should be and the person that I am. Did you find out anything? She mentioned a Chris D'Amico. I see. Anything else about him? Just that he was drunk one night and mentioned he worked for some branch of the government. Not necessarily saying it's ours. Right. This could be trouble. Something on your mind, sir? Just trying to remember the details. Someone you knew personally? Chris is one of those agents who fools around too much. This was his last chance, so it seems I'll need to deal with him. Okay, so... My objective is complete. Let me test over. Patience, Tony. There's a one more thing I need you to do. I need you to wrap things up with Miss Smith. What do you mean? I mean make sure that she stays quiet. For good. What? Why? I mean, what you have told me, it seems that she's a loose end. I need you to sever it. But I feel she's of no threat. Don't let your heart get in the way, Tony. You need to face the fact that she is a threat. She knows Chris Tomiko's name and possibly he's an agent. She needs to be silenced. So what, I kill an innocent woman because of some association she had? It's strange that it's coming from you. What's that supposed to mean? I read a report from your field test. It says that you killed a teammate in order to survive, correct? Not killed. Sacrificed. He was already wounded. What's the difference? The point I'm trying to make is that you know what you have to do. It's a basic survival. This isn't a matter of life or death, though. It is for the company if a road gets out. This is the last part of your test. I need to know if you're able to do what is necessary in a situation like this. Look at me, Tony. It is what needs to be done. You're my best student. Don't let me down. Hi, Nicole. Yeah, this is Jacob. Listen, I need to talk to you as soon as I can. It's about a potential buyer. Yeah. All right, so meet up around six. Okay, yeah, that's good. Bye. What was more important? This job or my sanity?
Nicole? Are you here? Well, it took you a while, but I guess better late than never. Mentor? Oh, what are you doing here? Jacob, is that you? Shut up. I'm here to see you finish your test. I felt that you wouldn't follow through, so a little preparation were necessary. Everything is set. All you have to do is to finish it. This isn't right. We shouldn't have to kill innocent people. How about your last assignment? Did you not kill your fellow student to survive? I did. But it was to survive. It's not something I'm proud of. Jacob, that's cursed to me. I'm sure you don't have to ask why. You should know the truth by now. So what? This test was just a matter of cleaning up some mess you made? I made a mistake. I got involved with her, and now this. But now, there's just one more loose end. <laughs> Seems you didn't fail after all. Good job, Tony. You passed. No. No, this isn't the way it was supposed to be. This wasn't what I wanted! Is this really what it all comes down to? They say in life we always have choices. Right or wrong. Good or evil. I thought I knew what was right. But lately the line between them has become murky. I trusted in you, mentor. To show me the right path. But you have only tainted me further. I never meant for all this to happen. I can't atone for all the people I've hurt. I'm sorry, Nicole.